Hi, it's Galahad here and you're watching another episode of History Telling. Today it will be a bit different episode. That's because recently I could get my hands on the Polish MP4 gas mask. So I decided to make a short video about it. I will come back to more historical topics in the future, so don't worry. Ok, so let's start. The MP4 gas mask is a Polish copy of the American Bulldog, the M17 gas mask. From the beginning of the 1970s, the MP4 began to slowly replace the earlier model HM41M, commonly known as the Swoń, in English Elephant, which was a Soviet design. The first MP4 prototypes were built in 1970. They were characterized by dark brown rubber and black oxidized metal elements. Probably about several hundred of them were produced. In the following years, 1971 to 1972, the OMMG2 model was produced. Dark brown rubber was abandoned in favor of olive one, but the oxidized elements remained. The final version of the MP4 mask without the oxidized elements was ready in 1973. Its mass production began in the Maskpol plant in Silesia. Initially, the lenses frames had two holes drilled right through them, but after some time this technique was replaced by a simple bending. In 1983 the color of the rubber was changed to grey. At the beginning the MP4 masks were used by the Polish People's Army and the Citizens' Militia, and in the 1990s by the Polish Armed Forces and the Polish Police. Some masks most likely ended up in Lebanon, where they were used in the 1982 Lebanon war. The only evidence of their usage that I found is a photo showing Lebanese soldiers carrying the body of a victim killed by a Lebanese Maronite troops on September 16th to 18th, 1982 in Beirut. The events of those days are known as the Sabra and Shatila massacre. In the 90s, in line with the trend at that time, a drinking tube was added to the MP4 mask and the voice emitter cover was changed for new needs. This model was quickly replaced with the new MP5 masks, used until today by the armed forces of Poland and Ukraine. Maska przeciwgazowa 4, in English Gas Mask 4, MP4 for short, is mainly made out of rubber. The one I am presenting to you was produced in 1989, so it's already made of grey rubber. It's in size too, as you can see here. There are also other markings here. The MP4 has only minor changes to its American counterpart. Most notable differences are lenses, which are slightly further apart from each other, the frames and voice emitter in a silver color, as well as slightly less visible nose part. The unusual placement of two filters in the cheeks gave the mask the nickname Bulldog. This has both advantages and disadvantages. It improves the comfort of use resulting from better mobility and visibility when looking down, however it makes it impossible to replace filters in a contaminated area. Talking about filters, they are factory packed hermetically in foil. Glass lenses are embedded in metal frames. To prevent water or sweat droplets from settling on them, the mask was equipped with an anti-fog foulard. You use it by simply wiping up the lenses with it. The mask has also lenses covers. They can be mounted onto the lenses themselves. In low temperatures they are designed to isolate the glasses from the outside and prevent them from fogging. Some masks were also issued with corrective lenses, as you can see here. In the front of the mask there is a voice emitter. The voice comes out through the phonic membrane located here. That's how do you sound with the gas mask off and 
sound. That's how they sound with the gas mask on. The straps holding the masks on the head are made of a grey elastic fabric. They can be adjusted in six places using metal buckles. The mask also comes with an instruction manual printed on poor quality paper, typical for the time. It contains an information on how to prepare the mask for use and how to put it on. On the other side you can see a simple scheme of the mask visible from the inside. The carrier bag resembles that of the American M17 mask. Made out of fabric it has metal poppers, clip hooks and other fasteners. The main pouch has a place for the mask itself and for an anti-fog foulard. In my example there is also a small pouch on the side. One of the stiffened sides of the bag has an information about the date and place of production. In this case it is October 1988 and the bag itself was made in SE Hemos in Opalenica. There are two or three outside pockets on the bag. One of them is designed to hide the bag's straps when they are not needed. The second, largest, has a place for a nameplate. It is intended for an individual anti-chemical package, IPP-51. It was a Polish set of substances used to decontaminate small surfaces of the body, weapons, equipment and uniforms. The packaging was made of olive green plastic with dimensions of 13 by 9 by 4 cm. The last third pocket is present only in some copies of MP4 bags. In my case it's at the bottom. I managed to fit the foil bag here. Its purpose was to secure the mask when going through water obstacles. The MP4B mask bag was made out of a fabric covered with waterproof rubber and its size was slightly larger to accommodate an additional pocket for a drinking tube. The MP4 gas mask has very mixed reviews. It was certainly a big novelty for the Polish People's Army. It exceeded its predecessors in terms of comfort of use. It didn't have a tube that interfered with free movement, it didn't cover the ears, and its voice emitter worked very well. However, it was impossible to replace the filters in the contaminated area. Additionally, the right and left filters differed in shape and were not interchangeable. Compared to other copies of American M17 mask, MP4 is pretty good in my opinion. The quality of rubber is quite nice. It's less stretchy than the one used in Czechoslovakian M10 gas mask, but it is very comfortable and durable, probably more durable than the M10's one. I've heard some stories of people damaging their M10 masks when trying to insert filters into them. From what I've experienced, changing the cheek filters for the MP4 isn't as awful as some people say. I managed to do that for the first time in around 3 minutes, without any knowledge of how to do it properly, and for the second time I did it in around 1 minute. Finally, I will just mention the Bulgarian PDE-1, which is basically M10's copy produced with worse materials and worse quality. Overall, MP4 is a nice piece of equipment and holds an important place in the history of the Polish armed industry. That's all I wanted to tell you in today's episode, dedicated to the Polish MP4 gas mask. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell and rate the video. See ya!